Don saying good morning, Doug guys. Prayers and blessings to all of you. On a serious note, I just want to give uh, blessings, my prayers, um, and pray for all the people that are struggling with with addictions, mental health issues, illnesses, you know, stuff like that. Those issues are very dear to me. Um, very personal, very personal to me. Um, addiction wise, yes, like personally that, that for me, I, I know about addictions like firsthand addicted to crack cocaine and, uh, alcohol for 18 years. That was my life. That was my everyday. My world became small as that rock that I used to smoke it became that small. I had no other goals, no efforts, no dreams. Everything around me, like outside the world was like, I just looked at it and I was like, uh, jealous, envious. I was like, oh, how come I'm not doing that? How come I can't do that? And I was always a negatory, negative person. I was still happy-go-lucky, like I, I still am, you know. I'm still a positive, funny guy. Even a Doug guy. But I just wanted to give my, shots and my, my thoughts and shares for today. Because every day I share a piece of my soul. It's funny, you know, when the people who, the uh, scammers or the, or the double or the weird profile people on Facebook, they send me requests and then I uh, share a piece of my soul and send my music. And then their response, you can tell right away, it's just like, hello, how are you doing today? They're not even a response, not even batting an eye of what I sent them. And they're like, and have you heard the good news? And I'm like, here we go again. Gotta love their perseverance. Anywho, prayers and blessings. That was it every day. I was there. I was down the dumps. I was homeless. Uh, trouble with the law. You name it. Been profiled by uh, by the police everywhere. I had people staring at me before I was digging in garbage cans, digging in the dumpsters. Not trying to worry about food, but worrying about my next drink or my next high. Anything to kill the pain of uh, suffering inside of uh, the issues that I never dealt with as a child. So I decided... <laughs> I woke one day, you know, that day, August 7, 2017, I said, I'm going to make that choice and no more. No more. I, I, I decided to fill my life with different things, you know, live one second at a time. Just no thinking, no, nothing like that. If there's anything, positive thoughts. But I just occupied my time by something else. Spending more time with my family. Spending more time doing stupid plastic bag toilet paper videos. And uh, posting weird ass, crazy ass memes. But you know, everything I do is 99.5% false in regards to those stories that I put up. It's a truth telling, uh, sharing pieces of my soul, of, of my past pain. This is what's real. This is the real me. Yeah, I like to dress in the suit, but suits are timeless. Singing is timeless. I was born to sing, I was born January 8th. Same day as Elvis. I don't know what it is. I just, I just feel like a king. So on January 8th, when they say, today the king was born, I shut off the radio. Or whatever it is. <laughs> no, I could never compare myself to Elvis. Elvis is awesome. But thoughts and prayers, prayers and blessings to everyone out there. It can be, I mean, it wasn't easy. It wasn't not easy. I admit that. But it gets... More and more easier every day, every second, I guess. And now I try to inspire, I try to hopefully someday anybody, someone will, will see or hear a millisecond of my story. And you know, I, I, I pass time by easy, by doing little things, cleaning, um, spend time with my, my family, video games. Television, television raised me. My uh, dad was a was an old floor model, round TV. My mama was a VCR, or beta machine, or laser disc. No, probably uncle laser disc. Because nowadays in native culture, we're all everybody's uncle and auntie. Does that mean we're all sexy? Does that mean we're all snaggable? 
<laughs> back when we used to go to Powell's back in the day. I used to ride in the back of a snagging wagon all packed up. I had to pack. I woke up at 5 in the morning to pack my Lake Rampart station wagon. I was the one packing it. When we got home, I unpacked it. I did it all on my own. Because I was yelled at. I was harassed. I was threatened. If I didn't do it, this would happen. Or it did happen. I was on my own. But nowadays, I'm not on my own. Most of the days, I know growing up, I had creator. You know, the Lord, God, was there looking over me. And my late parents looking after me, too. Their spirits looking after me. I know they are. I love you, Mom, late Margaret Bird. And I love you, Dad, late John Campbell. You guys are looking after me, looking after your grandkids. In all this pandemic and all this uh, craziness in the world nowadays, I think I was built for it. I was like, I know how to have fun in my own house. I know how to occupy myself, occupy the time. And I just want to give um, my, sh my thoughts and my shares, pieces of my soul. Don't give up. Fight. Fight with every inch of your soul. Fight. I done it. And I was the worst of the worst. If I can do it, then anybody can do it. I'll try and post some crazy shit later. Sorry for the ass language, but hey. Well, this is VB, the happy tug guy. Have a fantabulous day, tug guys. My thoughts of the day. Loving sobriety. August 8th is coming up, or 7th, I mean, sorry, the 8th month, but August 7th, be three years sober, not yet. Oilers hockey's back. Thank you, Super Van Magoo, for my Oilers banner and my Ethan Bear toque. Like the toque that he wears on his head. Hope you all get that. Have a great day.